Hello Libra and welcome to your August, mid-August reading. I'm so excited to look into your energy of the sun, moon, and rising signs. How are you doing today? Remember that energies can be reversed, so assign the roles as you please if the reading does not resonate with you. Um, just stick around because there might be something in it for you. Um, also, I may not be picking on your picking up on your specific energy, so if it doesn't resonate with you in a couple minutes, you know, it's just not your reading for the day. No big deal. Um, if you like this reading and entertain in some way, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. This way you get notified as soon as I post something new. I want to thank all the people who've subscribed, liked, commented, sent donations, looked at my website, all of those things. Thank you so very much. And I want to thank all the new people that are here as well. So Libra, Libra, Libra. I'm excited to look at your energy today. Let me clear this off. And we have Libras are having some exciting things happening. And I can't wait to see what's going on with you. We have love. We have people who love you. People that you love. And the, lots of you guys are moving. And some of you guys got new careers. And just amazing things happening for Libra. Yay. All right. Let's see what's going on. So Libra, this is you now. The next step. The obstacle in your way. The strength. And the outcome. Ooh, beautiful new beginnings. I love it. And my favorite king, <laughs> who is feeling really free. Oh my goodness, this is great, guys. Okay, so we have the overall energy for this reading is the Ace of Pentacles. And that is a beautiful ace because it's all about prosperity and happiness and contentment. And um, could be about property for those of you guys who are moving. So money coming really quickly for you and... You're just going to get everything that you need this month. This is going to be very beautiful for you. So we're talking about August 15th, you know, bleeding over into September as well. Um, it's going to have, you're going to have to make some decisions about some things, some logical decisions, you know, maybe about a new home for those of you guys who are doing home. Maybe it's about finances and money. Maybe it's about people and relationships, but definitely, um, going to have some decisions that are coming up for you. Uh, but they're decisions that I feel like you can make with a blindfold on, so no worries. I wouldn't worry about it. You're not gonna be sitting there biting your nails and trying to figure things out. It's like, this is the time that things are moving in very, very easily for you. We've had, Libras have struggled for like the last couple of years, um, and now things are starting to move in the right direction. The things that you prayed for, the things that you wanted, they're coming in and they're coming in strong, and they're coming in very beautifully. And it's, it's good to be a Libra this month, right? Okay, so it, and this is awesome because now finally your King of Pentacles is coming. Man or woman doesn't matter. It's just the gen, there's no gender, but your King of Pentacles is going to be there for you. So we're talking about support. We're talking about a protector, someone who's very loyal, very secure. They work hard, they plan, they're visionary, they're generous, and um, they resolve conflicts really well. So if you haven't had this energy in your partner, then you're going to get this energy now or, or someone's coming in to provide this energy for you because Libras, you've been kind of out in the cold for a while and you have been... Um, devalued and treated pretty badly in some circumstances. And I'm really sorry for that, but the universe is bringing in this wonderful energy for you this month. So that um, almost like a makeup, uh, it's almost like makeup sex, right? <laughs> like an apology. Hey, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry about that, that you just went through. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. And it's all coupled with this full energy of lightheartedness and just having fun and just being really, really, I, I'm okay. I'm reason, I'm Libra rising. So I'm excited about this because yes, I've been in some ugly energy. I'm excited for this King energy to come in and coupled with this. And I feel the energy, which is makes me even more excited. <laughs> because and coupled with freedom, oh my gosh, like who doesn't like freedom? <laughs> Who doesn't like to feel free? You know, and this this is like feeling like even the, 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 the fabric of this person's clothes are just feeling so free on their body. You know, it's like it feels soft and silky and beautiful and luxurious, right? Wow. That's beautiful. Oh, Libra, I'm so happy for you. This is great. And I'm happy for me. I get to be in this energy too. All right. So what are you now? Well, now you are in the karmic lesson um, and it's the beautiful part of the karmic lesson where you have struggled so much. So it's the reward of the karmic lesson. I guess that's what I want to say. Let me dive into this a little bit more. <laughs> 
as I do want to know, what are you talking about, universe? What does karma mean? Because we just went through um, holy hell <laughs> to get here, right? So is this, I, I feel beautiful. It feels beautiful to me. It feels good. It feels like the reward of the karmic lesson, but let's see what the universe has to say. Oh my gosh, it is. Oh my gosh, Libra, this is it. <gasps> Yay. Oh man, all these beautiful cards. And the story goes like this, okay? That you are finally done with the karmic lesson. It's time for you to get your reward of your king and pentacles. Oh, I'm so excited for you. Um, and yeah, it's this and coupled with this equal give and take, like you finally are going to get the equal give and take. You're finally going to stop being, um, I'm, I'm seeing like a vision of like just being pulled around around the carpet. You know what I mean? And just like um, trampled all over. <laughs> all right. No, it's equal good give and take now. No more devaluing. No more ugliness. No more ugly energy. It's like once you're moving into this direction, it's like going to be more beautiful and more beautiful and more beautiful. Um, no more being trapped. You know, you're done with being trapped and feeling like there was no way to get out of this position and no way to get out of this feeling. And you're, you're moving forward towards your 10 of pentacles. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Libra, I'm so excited that I read this reading for you today. I hope that everybody resonates with this. And if you don't, then ask God to resonate. Ask God, say, this is what I want. This is, this is it. This is it. I'm so excited. I, I want to capitalize on the Libra energy. All right, the next step for you. Is it's going to take some work. So for those of you guys who are moving, yeah, you're going to be packing up. You know, it's going to take work. It's going to take work uh, getting people in the right, situated in the right places. If you have kids, you know, putting them in the right schools and finding the right home. So it's going to take some work, right? For those of you who are moving careers, it's going to, you know, you got to get settled in. And for those of you who have this relationship coming in, that it hasn't fully manifested yet, it's going to take some work to get it to where you guys both want it. And that's okay. It's going to take some work getting to know each other again. And it's going to take some work just like, um, uh, working through even some red flags that you may see and and doesn't mean that you have to run away from red flags. It might mean that like that you stand up and say, okay, well, I'm seeing this and, um, this is what I see. And, and depending on how that person responds, are they going to respond in a mature way? Are they going to run? Are they going to, you know, depending on what they do will depend on how much work it's going to be. Or even if you want to put work into it at all, right? Which I think that you will because it, God wouldn't be bringing this king of, Pen king of pentacles to you unless they were ready. Unless you were ready, unless it was the right timing in the right place. Because the karmic lesson right here says that. It says that you guys have already done the karmic lesson. Now it's time to reap the reward. So you're in the reward phase. So for those of you who aren't Libra and you're cross watching, don't be don't be jealous. Don't be jealous of Libra in their reward phase because Libra went through a lot of crap to get here. Okay, so um, we we Libras we deserve this, and um, I am shoot I am rooting for all of us. All right. So what is the obstacle that's in your way? Is that you're going to need to hone into your higher self. And a lot of you guys, when you're in this reaping of this all beauty, sometimes we forget. It's it's like we only go to God when we need answers or only go to God when we're struggling, right? But you need to go to God too when, when you're happy. It's like go back in your higher self and saying, hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to kiss you. I want to kiss you all over. You know, I want to kiss you all over, higher self. I'm so excited. This is so great. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like don't forget to express your gratitude to God. Don't forget to um, when you get really stressed out and overwhelmed don't forget to look to God and say okay is this the right house for me is this the right person for me is this the right um, career for me is this the right schools I mean whatever it is that you're wanting and needing make sure that you're honing into your higher self because it can be an obstacle if you don't okay what is your strength though Ooh, the strength is the page of swords which is the contract is coming in. So contract on a home, contract on a relationship, the soul contract that you've been waiting for it to come in and, and to fulfill. Um, it's the information that you need in order to move forward. It's that your hard work is paying off, that um, people are wanting to help you. Yeah, and it's true. Like when I was going through my stuff, I got so many text messages from people saying, you give so much to other people. I want to help you. I was like, oh my gosh. That is awesome, you know, because so many times when I've gone through my hard stuff, I felt so alone that this is the first time that I really felt like 
I mean, I never ever even really put it out there, but it, I guess they could feel it. They could feel the energy was different with me. And they were like, oh my gosh, I want to be there for you. I want to be the one that you call. I want to be the one that you, you, um, you go to, you know what I mean? So this is awesome. You're going to be relying on your intelligence this month. You're going to be really alert to your higher self and your higher intuition will walk you right to where you need to be. But everything you're asking for is coming into fruition. And that is beautiful. What is the outcome? Is the communication that you've been waiting for. All right. So we have the, is that a night? Yeah, no, he's a page. <clears throat> Still coming in as a page, but that's okay. I'll take it. <laughs> so we're talking about good news, good communication, being able to trust this King of Pentacles coming in, um, being able to trust the job offers, being able to trust all of the contracts that are coming in. Um, so we have the contracts coming in here and then the fact that you can trust it over here. The, the fact that it could be a job offer over here. And um, this is also someone coming in to express themselves. You're expressing yourself, reminiscing chats of the past, reminiscing chats of, oh my gosh, can you believe only a year ago or five years ago or 30 years ago or whatever the deal is. But there's going to be a lot of that beautiful energy. So this is wonderful because this isn't just about soulmate. I'm hearing people moving. I'm hearing careers. I'm hearing job offers, all of those things. <clears throat> but I do want to, I want to dive into some, some <clears throat> sorry. All right. So they just they, this just blew out of the deck, which is um, Ace of Cups. They want me to make sure that you understand that a lot of this is about um, the gift of love and the relationship and the emotional lottery that you've been asking for. It's all here. It's coming. It's it. This is it. Beautiful. I'm so glad to be a Libra because my other signs are not having the same exact thing. <laughs> so this is good. Um, <clears throat> positive emotions, creativity, growth. And you will flourish during this time and you're going to want to appreciate every single moment of the, this journey because it's going to feel amazing. Now let's look into love for those of you who are interested in love. And, um, you know, we're always interested in love, <laughs> right? You know, they, they say that um, your rising sign is actually a really important sign. So you need to know what sign that is. So a lot of you guys know your sun and moon, but you need to figure out your rising. That There's a link in the description box down below for a free thing to find that out. And your rising sign is actually really important. Um, it, the, it's actually what they used to read your horoscopes on. And then um, the Western started doing the sun and then the moon um, is, is more of the Indian, the Vedic culture. But what did they say? They said that the, the sun... I can't remember, but the rising sign is how it plays out in your life. This, oh, the moon is your emotions. The sun is the overall energy. So if you look at your sun sign, that's your overall energy of what's happening um, right now. And then the moon sign is how you're going to feel about it. And then the rising sign is um, how it's going to play out. So if I, this is my rising sign. So this is how it's going to play out. Oh, oh my gosh. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. My logical brain can grasp this. All right, so let's see. Finances and career are going to be affected. That's what I've been feeling. That's what I was talking about. Um, ooh, once again. All right, so once again, um, I've got a lot of love cards right here. So finances and career, we knew that. Moving forward is going to be in the finances and career. It's all going to start moving forward. For those of you who felt stuck energy, and I did feel some stuck energy in my own, like even my own YouTube channel, it's like all of a sudden it just psh, like stopped. I was like, what's going on? But I know about energy, so I don't flip out. I just can, oh, okay, well, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. And those who are supposed to be here will. And it's probably reading out the people who give me all the thumbs down. And they've decided they don't want to be here anymore. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Because I'm the people who I do resonate with will stay. So it's fine. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely going to be around. But there's this, this reconcil reconciliation of someone from your past returning from your life. So let me say this. This could be someone like you're married to right now and they completely changed into a different person. That old person may be able to resurface at this time. Or it could be someone brand new like this King of Pentacles could be someone brand new. It could be a reconciliation of someone from your childhood, anything like that. So definitely. Um, and it's about making the effort this month to make it work. Um, because God brought you this person back to you for a reason. And so make it work. All right. If you see red flags, 
Talk about it. Make it work. Don't go into old energy of sulking and, oh, I knew this wasn't the one and oh, it didn't come the way I thought it would. And just, we don't need to be doing all that. So just don't go in that direction. But it's about releasing your ex. So some of you guys are releasing um, an ex spouse. Maybe, maybe you're releasing the ex that you have right now or the person you have right now ends up being your ex. Or um, maybe you're releasing uh, just some um, negativity from an ex relationship of some sort. But there is a feeling of separation that you're going to be healing from because you're going to start to get to know each other again. So that's really beautiful. I love that. Um, and I think that's really about it that I want to do today because that was pretty clear and that was pretty awesome. Let me see if there's some outcome cards, some advice cards that we can get from the moon. The moon shining in the moon. That was a song I taught my kids. Are you listening? It was a good song, but it was. All right, so let's see. Okay, bring love into the situation. Whenever you're feeling unloved, remember just to start bringing love into the situation. I love you is always a great thing to say to someone. A new romantic cycle is beginning, so the more you can focus in on love, the better it's going to be for you. And just like Capricorn, your commitment is being tested as well. So don't get frustrated and um, overwhelmed and crazy about it. Just be like, all right, this is my commitment being tested. I see you. I hear you. <clears throat> And so that's that. Let's see if we can get some beautiful love cards. And then I'm going to close out this reading just because it was, there was some romance in here. <clears throat> there wasn't very much in Capricorn, so didn't need to do this. Unless you guys have like Capricorn in your uh, chart, you know, something to look at. All right, we have, I remember you. So something from the past. My whole body burns at the thought of you. Something really strong in the past, very passionate. You are the song of my heart, and I can't handle heartbreak anymore because your words keep ringing in my head. I could never say it, but I do love you. Aww. I love that. All right, so that's some beautiful stuff right there. I'll go ahead and lay these out for you. I remember you. I remember you. All right, my whole body burns at the thought of you. So it's very passionate. You are the song to my heart. This person loves music and loves that you love music too. And I cannot handle heartbreak anymore. Um, but your words keep ringing in my head. So I guess I feel like I need to come forward. God's been tapping, up, tapping on my shoulder. And God's been shoving you in my face. So I guess it's you. <laughs> right? It's you in the sun time. I don't know the words. It's you in my dreams. All right. So I could never say it, but I love you. <clears throat> so definitely some secret love here. All right, guys. Um, hope that you guys have a great day. If you like this reading or entertain in some way, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell, and I'll see you soon. Bye.